I have been a second grade teacher for 26 years and I have generally loved what I do. I love being around children. I love their openness and their innocence and I really enjoy um, finding creative ways to help them become people. <laughs> But the education system has been wearing on me. And going back this year is feeling massively difficult for me for a lot of reasons. Um, one of the reasons is because of my new understanding that I am autistic and have ADHD myself. And I teach a lot of these students too. Another reason is that after half a century of teaching. Did I say that right? No. After a quarter century of teaching, um, I have just understanding that there's so much about education in, in our country and I guess in the place where I teach that I, I really don't agree with. Um, I, I don't agree with all of the testing that we do. And I don't agree that at this young age of seven and eight years old, that I need to make my main focus on building their intellect through the practice of learning grammar and spelling and math strategies and all of the other standards-based instruction. I feel that at this young age, it's more important that kids are learning to be people, that kids are learning about how to think rather than teaching them what a prepositional phrase is. So that being said, I'm finding myself on the second day of the new school year, already struggling. But I'm also struggling with how I'm going to be the best teacher that I can be when I'm also trying to unmask my autism. I have pretended for two and a half decades now to be the teacher that I am supposed to be, that my profession asks that I be. And that teacher is not really who I am. Um, it's just wearing on me. And I'm feeling it today. And I'm feeling like I need to. This is really hard to say because I've been a very positive person about my career for a lot of years. And I've definitely gone through the ups and downs of being an educator and fighting for our, you know, rights for a decent salary and benefits and fighting for students' rights to, you know, smaller class sizes. But I'm just friggin' tired. So I'm sorry if today's video for you isn't going to be a peppy, happy, positively forward thinking, the world is a beautiful place type of video. Today, I just really need to say the things that don't get said. If you're an educator and you are up for that, then this is a video for you. Um, I honestly don't really care right now about other people's opinions about who teachers should be and what their job is. And um, I don't really want to hear people tell me, oh, you're doing, you know, the hardest work ever and thank you for your service. I know I've heard that so many times over the years and I am grateful for those people who are grateful for me. But today I just really need to say the hard things. Um, 
I might even shut comments off on this video. I'm not sure yet. Right now it's hard for me because I, I want to say the things and at the same time, since I don't say the things, I have a fear that saying the things will ruin me. And I think some of that is my overthinking. But that's what I feel right now. Okay, I'm just going to say some things. I'm just going to say some things. And the smile on my face isn't because I'm feeling particularly happy. It's actually because I'm feeling a little nervous and unsettled. Um, today in my classroom, I yelled a lot. And I apologize when I raise my voice at my students. But um, I really felt today that that I don't have it in me this year to put in the same kind of energy that I have in the years past. This year, I just want to be autistic. <laughs> I just, I don't want to have to hide it. This year, if I'm feeling overwhelmed, I want to be able to run out of the classroom. This year, when the expectations for testing and scheduling and meetings and grading and report cards and back to school night and parent conferences, when all of those expectations show their ugly face, I just want to go tell all of those expectations to F off. Uh, this year, I want to be able to tell my students and the parents of my students that I am autistic and that being so brings a lot of talent and expertise, but it also brings reality that sometimes I'm not going to be able to manage the energy of the classroom. This year I want to be able to not worry that I am taking too many days off because I will be get a poor review for using all of my sick time. I want to be able to take whatever days off I need to take if I feel exhausted or overwhelmed. This year, there are days when I think I just want to put on instructional videos and I want to sit down and watch the videos with the students. <laughs> This year, I just want to be able to be me in the classroom and not be the teacher version of myself. I don't know if any of that's possible. But I've taught for so many years, and all of those years I have taught, and I have been the absolute best teacher for my students. I have met their social emotional needs. I have met the needs of their parents. I have met their educational needs. I have gone above and beyond and I just don't want to do it this year. I just want to take a break. But I can't. <laughs> Um, because of where I live and because of the financial responsibilities that I have, I cannot take a break. I have to work for at least another four years. And I have to find a way to make this work. Somebody asked me in the comments a few days back of another video how I... I think it was something to the effect of how I manage being a teacher and meet my needs as an autistic, late diagnosed autistic high masking woman. And right now I can't answer that I know how I do that. I need to figure out how to do that. And I'm a little bit worried about 
being able to effectively do that this year. Um, I recognize that right now I'm not even looking into the camera because I'm feeling a, a great deal of overwhelm at this. If the comment section ends up being open on this video and you've watched this far, all I ask is that you just leave me some hearts and let me know that you have some compassion for what this might feel like. Just imagine being overwhelmed for six hours straight and not really having the time or the tools to take care of yourself until you get home. It kind of creates a bit of panic. Okay, I think I've said all that I can say right now, and um, not all of my videos are going to be dark and sad like this. It's just this one today because it's the thing that's on my mind. So um, thanks for listening.